Welcome to Bard's Gaming Corner. 2021 has been a pretty awesome year if you're a fan of isometric RPGs, with releases like Solasta Crown of the Magister and the immense Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. 2022 promises to be as awesome with a massive amount of similar games to be released. In this video I will highlight some of the most prominent ones and some I spoke about in my video about isometric RPGs earlier this year. In the first half of this video I will show some new and upcoming games that are set for 2022 or 2023. And in the second half I will put the spotlight on a couple of RPGs that were planned for this year 2021 but have been delayed. So let's get started. Sovereign Syndicate Sovereign Syndicate, a steampunk RPG set in a fictional Victorian London. Created by Crimson Herring, this game is obviously inspired by classics such as Baldur's Gate, Pillars of Eternity and the recent Disco Elysium. In my opinion, this first game on the list is one of the most original as well. The graphics look good but much like the standard you've come to expect in such an isometric RPG. But it is in the gameplay where a Sovereign Syndicate offers the most. For every challenge and quest the game offers different ways for you to solve it. Magic, combat or a more peaceful road by using tarot cards amongst others. Set to be released in 2022, Sovereign Syndicate is available on PC on Steam. Dragon Age 4 Dragon Age 4 next to Baldur's Gate 3, the biggest name on this list. The Dragon Age series has its ups and downs. Dragon Age Origins was great with a couple of flaws. Dragon Age 2 was mediocre at best, but luckily redeemed by Dragon Age 3 Inquisition. Not that much is known at this point about Dragon Age 4. It is supposed to be scheduled for 2022. But I guess it will probably be released in 2023 on multiple platforms. The Way of Wrath. And now for something completely different. The Way of Wrath. Set in a Bronze Age tribal world, this is a combination of strategy and role playing. So be prepared to build, fight, and talk. The graphics look very original, especially compared to the other games on this list. Very much a style of its own. The Way of Wrath should be available in 2022 on PC on Steam and on GOG.com.
Zoria, Age of Shattering. Zoria, Age of Shattering, a party-based, story-driven RPG set in the world of Zoria. According to its developer, Twinket Games, Zoria offers a unique combination between an action RPG and tactical management. Uh, I don't know actually what that means, but we will see. The overall style and graphics of Zoria are to me a bit reminiscent of Divinity Original Sins 1. It all looks pretty good. The demo can be downloaded for free on Steam. No other details are available on the release schedule as of yet. Revolution, the spark. Revolution, the spark, another steampunk RPG set in a dystopian industrial civilization at the turn of the 19th and 20th century. You play as a military veteran fed up with the injustice of this world. According to its developer Darts Games and good luck googling and finding that software company, this is a story driven turn based tactical RPG. You can actually find a link to their website through Steam. From what I've seen combat will be a major factor in this game. But Revolution also offers different options to solve different situations. Revolution The Spark is set to be released in 2022. And now the games I've already mentioned in an earlier video. Alaloth, Champions of the Four Kingdoms. Alaloth, Champions of the Four Kingdoms, an impressive looking RPG where you play with a single character. Developed by all in games and noticeably influenced by classics such as Baldur's Gate and Pillars of Eternity. Like the other games at the end of this list, this game was set to be released in 2021, but will be probably and hopefully 
available in 2022. The latest information is that LLOF will be available on PC on Steam. Black Geyser Very much like Solasta, Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness is a typical party-based isometric RPG created by a very small company called Grape Ocean. It is set in a country on the verge of a civil war egged on by a god that encourages greed. You can play the game in early access and a large part of it can be experienced. Graphics, gameplay and story are all very reminiscent of Pillars of Eternity. Don't expect triple A quality with Black Geyser, but considering the resources that are available to Grape Ocean, this looks like a pretty nifty RPG. Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness can be bought on Steam and GOG.com. Broken Roads If you're a fan of apocalyptic role-playing games like the original Fallout and Wasteland, look no further than Broken Roads. Created by the small Australian studio Drop Bear Bites. This game is set in the Australian outback, so very much an homage to the movie Mad Max in that regard. From what I've seen and read, this game offers colorful hand-drawn graphics, different ways to finish quests and tactical combat akin to the Wasteland and XCOM series. Broken Roads is set to be released in 2022 and will be available on multiple platforms PC, Switch, PlayStation and Xbox. Dark Envoy Dark Envoy, the last steampunk RPG on this list, developed by Event Horizon, a relatively new studio who you may know from the dungeon crawler Tower of Time. You play with a brother-sister duo traveling on a skyship on a world wrecked by war between technology and magic. The graphics so far seem pretty impressive, but actually not that much is known about this game. Dark Info is set to be released in 2022 on PC, on Steam and GOG.com, PlayStation and Xbox One. Baldur's Gate 3 Baldur's Gate 3! Next to Dragon Age 4, this is the most well-known title on this list. And the title most RPG fans are anticipating the most. Being developed by Larian Studios, the Belgium company who gave us the excellent Divinity original since 2, we should expect a pretty good game where story and gameplay is at the forefront. Baldur's Gate 3 has been available in early access since the fall of 2020 and was planned to be released this year. I've been playing with a couple of different races and classes and I must say I'm pretty impressed by the potential. It uses the same game engine as Divinity Original Sin 2, but it has gotten a major overhaul. The frustrating thing of course being that this game is still only available in early access. You can play a large chunk and experience much of what this new version of the Forgotten Realms has to offer, but it ends when your party members reach level 4 and you're still stuck somewhere in the wilderness. Larian themselves stated that Baldur's Gate will be released in 2022, and I certainly hope so. 
At the moment the game is available on PC on Stadia, Steam and GOG.com. Are you looking forward to any particular title in this list? Or are you missing one or two isometric RPGs coming out in 2022? Post them in the comments.